Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy. Welcome back to another video. So today it's going to be probably a quick and simple one. Um, Today I'm going to be trying Olipop, which if I'm remembering correctly, I'm pretty sure this is basically a type of like sparkling water, but it's like a soda. It's advertised to be like a healthy soda. So um, I'm going to try them. I got four different flav flavors here. I got vintage cola, orange dreamsicle, creamsicle, something like that. Oh, it's called orange squeeze. I wasn't even close. Um, and then we got watermelon lime and then lemon limeade. That's supposed to taste like Sprite, essentially. So I got four different flavors here. We're going to go ahead and pretty much dive right into these. Um, one thing about these that I know for sure is that they're great for mocktails or cocktails. Um, if you're the kind of person who, does, who doesn't like drinking, but you like making like fancy cocktails, I know you can like mix these in with like special like fruit juices and stuff like that. And you can make really good drinks with them. But I don't know how they're going to stand on their own. But... I said I'm going to go ahead and try them. So starting off, we're going to start with the one that I feel like is probably the safest, which is lemon lime. This is supposed to taste like Sprite. I don't know yet. We'll try it. Cheers. Okay. It's not bad. It has. It does have a little bit of a weird aftertaste, but it's not like painful like most sparkling water is. Okay. The weird flavor that I'm thinking I'm tasting is like honey. Like it kind of tastes like this is sweetened with honey. And if that is what it is, that's actually pretty interesting. I like that so far. It literally tastes exactly like a regular Sprite, but like slightly watered down. And if you added honey to it and it's not bad, it's a little, it's, it is a little weird, but it's not bad. Okay. If all of these are on the same scale as that, I think I would really enjoy this. Um, yeah, this is kind of on my uh, trend of like trying to try some healthier things because um, I made a video a couple of weeks ago where I was like, oh my God, everything I ever try is unhealthy and I need to start eating healthier and stuff like that. And then I proceeded to immediately do the challenge where I went to like four different fast food restaurants or something. Um, but now we're going to go ahead and try orange squeeze. This one I'm expecting to be kind of on the same vein, except for instead of it tasting like Sprite, but with some weird aftertaste, I'm expecting it to taste like Fanta and hopefully without the weird aftertaste. But... We never know. Let's try it. Ooh. Okay, this one's pretty good. Okay, I'm a big fan of that one. That one doesn't taste like Fanta. To me, it doesn't taste as good as Fanta, but it kind of tastes a little bit like Crush. Um, it's not bad. The orange flavor isn't like the most apparent flavor. It is very much sparkling water, but um, I think that the sparkling water isn't as harsh. I don't know what they're using to sweeten it, but it kind of tastes like if you added a little bit of like sweet cream to it. I don't even know, but it does taste pretty good. Kind of tastes like a creamsicle. I, I dig that. I like the vibes of that. So far, I think these are much better than I was kind of expecting them to be. I was kind of expecting them to be not terrible, but... um. I wasn't expecting to enjoy them, and so far I've been enjoying them. So, um, I got two more. I got vintage cola, and I got watermelon lime. I'm gonna stick with the fruity flavors for now, so I'm gonna go watermelon lime next. Um, I have no idea what to expect from this one. I'm expecting this one to kind of just taste like, I don't know, actually. Yeah, I, I literally have no idea. Cheers. Let's try Okay, I had a technical difficulty, but I'm back. So, like I said, watermelon lime. Let's try it. Cheers. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. It tastes like the green part of a watermelon. It tastes like the part of the watermelon that you're not supposed to eat. It's not bad, but like, it mostly tastes like cucumber. Like if you ever go to like a special fancy restaurant where they have like the little water things in the front where it's like lemon and lime and cucumber all in the water or whatever, it tastes like that. It's not bad, but it's not something I would willingly drink again. That is the first one of these that I have had that I did not like, though. So I will say that's a pretty good sign, right? And I, like, earlier when I mentioned these would be good for, like, cocktails or mocktails, that would probably taste great in a mojito. If you made a mojito using that, it would probably taste fantastic. Same with, like, it doesn't even necessarily need to be, like, an actual mojito. You can probably use that to make a mojito mocktail, probably. I don't know. I don't know much about mocktails, which I should probably work on because I low-key want to be a bartender, but I can't actually be a bartender because I'm too young. But, like, I could always make mocktails, and I would totally love that. If anybody has good mocktail recipes, you should comment them down below, because I would love to make a video trying a bunch of random mocktails. But, yeah, last flavor we got here is vintage cola. Um, I'm a big fan of Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is one of my favorite kinds of drinks. Um, and I will drink literally any kind of cola. Pepsi, um, Coke, um, what's it called? The Great Value brand that I can't remember right now. Sam's Cola is pretty good. 
Okay, this one's not bad. This one to me just kind of tastes like flat soda, though. Like, this to me kind of tastes like if you had a two liter of Coke for a party, like, a couple of weeks ago, and you're just now finishing it up. Um, it tastes like that. It's not good. But it's not bad. So, overall, I think that they're not terrible. Oh, God, that's a weird aftertaste. Hold up. That's weird. That's weird. Okay, so right off the bat, that one tasted good, but then it, it kind of had, like, a weird, like, gingerbread type aftertaste, which is not what I was expecting at all. That is, um, interesting, to say the least. Um, okay. What does that say? Microbiome approved? Microbiome approved? Fascinating. I don't know why. I thought I said microwavable, and I was like, I don't... Why would you want a microwave a drink? I was very confused. Okay, but yeah. So now I'm going to go ahead and rank them all amongst each other and then give them all number ratings because that's the way that I do my ratings in my channel. I really need to, like, put a disclaimer at the beginning of each of my videos saying that. But, um, so right off the bat, the best one, without a doubt, was the lemon and lime one. And then I think it quite literally probably is going to go down the line. I think that the next best one was the orange drink. Oh, wait. I'm going to switch those two. Orange, orange squeeze was number one, then lemon lime. And that's going to go down the line. It's going to be the uh, watermelon lime one because it's it's okay. It's just not my style. And then this Coca-Cola one, which just weirdly tastes a lot like, like, I don't even know what that aftertaste was, but it was not great. It was like gingerbread. Um, But yeah, so now if I was to give them all number ratings, this is the only one that's really bad. So I'm going to give this one like a 3.2 out of 10. Um, This one, I'm going to give it a solid 5.0. It's like the middle of the road. It's not terrible. It's not great. Would I drink it again? Maybe if I'm like in the mood for something really oddly specific like that. Because I can see times where I would want like a mojito type thing. And like I said, that would be perfect for a mojito mocktail. Um, And then this lemon and lime one, it is not going to compare with Starry. It's not going to compare with Mountain Dew. It's not going to compare with Sprite. But it is pretty good. It has a healthy equal... Uh, what? I was going to say equivalent. That's not it. Equivalent. Um, It's pretty solid. I'm not going to lie. I think when you take into account that these are healthier for you, um, it definitely does make you feel a little bit more appreciative of it. I'm going to give this a solid 7.4. Um, would I get it again? Probably. Am I actually going to? Probably not. Um, and then Olipop, the last one, the orange squeeze. This is by far the best one. If I am going to get any of these again, I guarantee you it would probably be this one. Um, and I'm going to give it a solid 8.4 out of 10. I actually really enjoyed it. But yeah. That was it for this video, guys. I'm um, sorry if it was a really quick one today, but um, I love and appreciate you guys for coming by and checking it out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked it, feel free to like and subscribe down below, and I will hopefully see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Pow, pow, pow. Hey, what a beautiful first I did this. We planned a day, then we did this. Wanna be in love with the girls with the kisses. Don't give a damn all riddance. I like this when I run the distance. I run a fine kid and go for listings. I wanna live within the business. Buying more than what's on the clearances. You're getting big cause I know you're a physicist. I wanna deny this shit, I'm unlimited.